what power there is in surrender. Because then you work through us, through your strength and your wisdom, and you flow through us. And you change us step by step, one thing at a time, until we are conformed to your image. Well, welcome back to the 365 mile journey with Jesus. My goal is to hike 365 miles this year, about seven miles a week, and uh, just dedicate it to the Lord. Just get out in nature, abiding with Him, seeking Him, praying, and just seeing what He wants to reveal. And I invite you to come along and join the journey, and uh, I hope the Lord will reveal things to you as well. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Dear Lord, I just thank you for this peaceful place. Thank you for the rain that we had yesterday and last night. It made everything just so lush and green. You can see the leaves starting to come out. And uh, the trail is just so soft and spongy and moist. And all the mosses are just super green. And I'm just thankful that I'm able to do it now. Walk, enjoy nature, enjoy what you've created. Enjoy your presence. Lord, in your word, it says that your, your voice is like the sound of rushing water. And uh, I think that's why when we hear it here on earth, it just is so uh, inspiring and so peaceful because it just connects us back to you. For I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I just thank you, Lord, for springtime, when uh, things are reawakened. I hear the birds chirping. Earlier I heard some frogs and uh, the plant life is coming back to life. And the four seasons are amazing, Lord, but springtime, there's something special about bringing things back to life, uh, restoring things. Lord, when we, we come to you, we can be a broken mess. But Lord, when we come to you with a humble heart and surrender to you, Lord, you restore us. You make us a new creation. That's all by your grace. We didn't deserve it. We sinned against you in so many ways. But Lord, even as we were sinners, you died for us. You died for us to rescue us and bring us back to new life. And for that, we are so thankful. And every spring when we see things coming back to life, it's a reminder of that salvation message. How things can appear dead, can appear corrupted, can appear unsalvageable. But through your grace and your love, you make a way. You make a way for us to be restored back to you like you originally intended. No matter what our past, no matter what we've done, the only thing you require of us is a surrendered heart. We just have to lay it all down at the foot of the cross and allow you to mold us and make us into your new creation. It's not about anything we can do in our own strength and our own wisdom. It's all about you, Jesus. And uh, when we surrender to you, when we make you Lord of our life, it's easy to make you Savior. <laughs> it's harder to make you the Lord. Because that means 
and surrender to you and to your will in everything we do. And uh, But when we do, what power there is in surrender. Because then you work through us, through your strength and your wisdom, and you flow through us. And you change us step by step, one thing at a time, until we are conformed to your image. And that's called sanctification. And it can take a whole lifetime. We don't just come to you one time and then everything changes. It's a matter of surrendering one step at a time. And as we take one step at a time, you show us what needs to change one step at a time. And that's, that's the beauty of a walk with you, Lord. You have so much grace. You don't demand that we change immediately. You're just looking for our heart, a heart that is after you, a heart that is pursuing you. And you can use that. No matter what our current status is, you can use that to mold us into your uh, image. We just have to say, Lord, what's next? What do I need to do now to be following you on that narrow path? Where am I off track? And say, oh, I didn't even think about that. Thanks for showing that to me, Lord. I repent. I repent of that area. I realize that wasn't your will. And help me get back on track. Help me get back on the narrow path, following you, Lord, staying away from the dangers of the world and just being in alignment with you, where you can protect, where you can bless, and where you can shield us from the spears of the enemy. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.